In the summer of 1936, the city of Berlin had put on its best face as host of the Olympic Games. Berlin was a lovely city, it was a joyous, it was a happy city at that time. It was more attractive as a city for me than were London or Paris. In a world still plagued by the depression, the capital of Nazi Germany was thriving. The Nazis used the Olympic Games of 1936 to try to project a positive image of the new Germany to translate the athlete's success into the success of National Socialism. During the Olympics, the uglier side of Hitler's National Socialism was kept under wraps. There was no outward sign of anti-Semitism. There were no signs that, they, that were reported later on, of course. Jews and dogs forbidden. I never saw that sign during the games. But the glittering surface of the international Olympic spirit could not completely obscure a darker reality. Wipe off hands over to Glickman. Marty Glickman and Sam Stoller were members of the American relay team. The morning of the day we were supposed to run, we were told, Sam and I, that we were not going to run. No fit American track and field athlete has ever not competed in the Olympic Games except Sam Stoller and me, the only two Jews on the track team. Marty Glickman is convinced it was politics that kept him out of competition. He believes the American Olympic Committee did not want to embarrass Hitler by having Jews stand on the winner's podium. Almost everything at the Olympics seemed to be going Hitler's way. In event after event, German victories appeared to support his notion of Aryan racial superiority. But then came the 100 meters. The hopes of the American team rested on the son of an Alabama sharecropper, Jesse Owens. standing 10 yards behind uh, Hitler. Hitler, hearing the name Jesse Owens, angrily pushed back his chair and with a deep growl on his face, walked right past me and walked out. In that tense summer of 1936, Owens went on to win four gold medals. The competition was grand. And we're very glad to come out on top. Thank you very kindly. 